Welcome back. We are here on e looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, March 15, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. You're welcome, very welcome. So uh, we'll, we are looking at Bitcoin, and as you can see, uh, Saturday was a major, uh, or Bitcoin made a major move to the upside significantly outside of the bullish band and we hit our all-time highs of 61.347 dollars for bitcoin yes an insane price but at this point we are experiencing a pullback main reason we're getting very overstretched here in the bullish band and usually you have a pullback after that it can continue uh, or it just trades sideways or pulls back, pulls back towards the 20 at the exponential here. But we can see that we probably fall back towards the top of this range here. Around uh, 58,000, uh, that is one, probably where buyers will come back in. But we can also fall back towards uh, the 20 or the middle of the bullish band, which is at the 51,000. Technically, in the Gidesh, they are turning around or are flat at this point. So... Uh, Yes, that is probably what is going to happen here. Buying it at this stage is fairly risky. So let's look at Ethereum. So same thing here. We have rallied up towards the top of the Bollinger Band and now we're experiencing a pullback and we're trading at 1845. Technical indicators are either flat or becoming or are bearish at this point. So it is very likely that we'll pull back towards the 20 exponential or the 50 before going higher so let's look at ADA so ADA has had it a really difficult time this uh, weekend um, also the past a few weeks we went to the old uh, very high here at the 1.44 and since then we have been basically breaking down we went saw a uh, very low here at 0 0.96 uh, and then we tried we also rallied above the top of the bullish band and then broke down again so it has basically been all over the place at the moment it looks like we are trending to the downside that is basically what's happening here and we will most likely not turn around until we hit the bottom of the bullish band or hit the 50 moving average we are trading underneath the 20 exponential so it is acting as more resistant and then support at this current stage. Technical indicators are looking dreadful, so it may well be that we'll drift slower, uh, lower towards the uh, 50 moving average at 0 0.84 before turning around. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin has also rallied up towards went all the way up 227 and then started breaking down again. We were outside of the bullish band here, so most likely break down towards the 200 or the 20 exponential at 196 before turning around again. If we break below that, then the, then the 50 moving average has offered massive support in the past and that's all the way down at 178. Technically, negatives, they are turning around, so it is, according to this, uh, more likely that we'll see a pullback than we'll rally from here. So let's look at NEO. So most crypto major cryptocurrency have been rallying this weekend. NEO is basically trading sideways. Uh, we saw the very highs here uh, a month ago at the 54. Since then, we broke all the way down to the 50, the moving average, and then we have basically been going sideways. At the moment, we hit the top of the bullish band and broke down again and are trading just above the 20 exponential. Technical indicators are all over the place. So it is very unclear when or not we break low from, uh, lower from here. If we do, then the 50 and the bottom of the bullish band at the 34 will offer quite a lot of support. And you can see the top of the bullish band is offering a lot of resistance. So let's look at Dash. So Dash has moved to the upside and then broke down so we went all the way up to uh, 245 and then we created this inverted hammer here technical indicators they are basically all over the place macd is flat the C uh, stochastic is bearish the cci is bullish and the rsi is basically flat so very similar to uh, to um, neo it is very unclear whether or not we rally from here or we break to the downside if we were to break to the downside then the bottom of the bullish band around 190 and the 50 moving average here at roughly roughly the same area 
give or take, uh, 185 will offer quite a lot of support. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. You are very welcome. Good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.